Oh, hey there. Welcome to my video. All right, if that wasn't a perfect intro, I don't know what the fuck is. In this story, we're going to talk about high school sex. You fucking pedo. All right, I get it. You want a good story, and I'm going to give it to you. Okay, so let's talk about sex. Specifically, sex in high school. Let's take this story back to sex ed class. The only class people who get laid can look forward to. Let's face it, if you're looking forward to calculus, this might not be the story for you. My high school had the most badass sex ed program ever. As someone who never gets laid, I can even tell you that it was freaking awesome. Our sexual education teacher... Okay, for some reason when I say it like that, it sounds fucked up. Alright, let me rephrase this. Our sexual demonstrator... Alright, that's much better. Well, her name was Carol, and even though that sounds like an old woman's name, she was young, hot, and ready to teach you about sex. I remember there was this one demonstration. She had a kid put a condom on a gigantic, at least it looked gigantic to me, a gigantic dildo, and it was the most hilarious thing ever. What was the kid's prize for actually doing this successfully, you might ask? It was a 24 box of more condoms. Oh my god, I remember that so well. Okay, this is when things got a little bit weird, because we were just about ready to finish up the class when Carol all of a sudden decided to do like a little Q&A session where we would all write down a question and then put it in a box and then she would pick out questions and answer them, right? She also said that everyone actually had to put a question in the box so it wouldn't be too obvious whose question was whose or else you could just pick out people in the class who put in a question and then guess who actually wrote it. So me being the person that I am, I had no fucking idea what to say at all. So I tried to think of a question really quickly because we didn't really have that much time. <laughs> Oh my god. This is so cringy. Oh my god, I remember this. This is one of the moments that you don't want to remember. I wrote down the question, what happens if your penis is too small for a condom? And then I put it in the box. What a fucking mistake that was. Everyone filled in their questions, put it in the box, and of course, guess whose fucking question was pulled out first? And as she was reading it, she had this, like, smile on her face that was kind of like a guilty smile. It's like she couldn't even help it, and I was literally cringing to death in my seat just hoping that nobody thought that was my question and she was reading it she was like what happens if your penis is too small for a condom oh that's a wonderful question fucking bullshit um actually that's impossible because they make condom sizes for everyone blah 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 bullshit answer whatever all right it's a real problem guys so then she pulls out the next question and the question is the last time i had sex with my boyfriend i had serious vaginal pains what can i do about this and i was thinking to myself jesus Christ, what the fuck? Everyone's like 16 years old. Damn, that's a pretty deep question. No pun intended. Okay, so she reads out of the answer. It's not really relevant. And then the next question. I want to have sexual intercourse with my boyfriend, but all he wants is oral sex. What can I do to persuade him? And I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck? Is everyone in my class having sex? Like, we're 15 and 16 years old. This is like our second year in high school. Like, what the fuck is going on, right? There's about 25 of us in this room, and I swear, out of all 25 of the questions, almost 15 of them just blatantly had to do with people having sex so apparently more than half my class was sexually active so yeah well a wise prophet did once say if her age isn't on the clock she's ready for the cop uh okay i'll just stop there if you guys enjoyed the story feel free to leave a like subscribe share this with your friends and check out all my other stories and of course if we can hit 420 likes then i will go ahead and send a 100 pack of condoms titled the mother load what the fuck Oh god, I just came up with that on the spot. I'm fucking genius. I'll send a 100 pack of condoms titled The Mother Load straight to your address. I'm also really interested in hearing from you guys about what your experiences were in sex ed class in high school, or I don't know if you had it before high school, any of that stuff. I'm going to read through all the comments, and I think it could be really interesting. Thanks again for listening, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Trophies!